everyone. My name is Megumi Honda. Today, I'd like to talk about modern times in drug discovery. This is our drawing. Introduction When you hear the words automation and efficiency, what comes up on your mind? I asked the students of a robot club in Ritzmaker University this question. In this way, various things in the world is automated and has become more efficient today. People usually try to shorten the time to use for something and they take it for granted. Even drug discovery, automation and efficiency has been emphasized. Since the development of one drug begins, through its safety is confirmed, it takes 9 to 17 years to put it on the market. Therefore, it is natural that they hope to reduce the time to develop drugs as much as possible. This time, they focused on the process of to discover the basis of the drugs, and I tried to verify the benefits and problems in automation and efficiency of the process while comparing to this year's Nobel Prize winning study, which is opposite against this trend. As mentioned above, I focus on the process to find the base of drug, that is, the candidate of drug. But in the first place, I'd refer to what state the drug is effective. After you guys take drugs, what's happening in the drug body? Let's take a look. It means the molecules of drug bind to the target in the body, thereby it indicates that drug exerts some effect on the body. Thus, it needs to find the compounds having such an effect in drug development and the candidate of such drug is called a lead compound. Now, let's link in the process of the lead compound search to fishing. Just imagine, you want a goldfish out of a lot of fish. In drug discovery, a skull of a fish is the compounds which could be some kind of a drug, and it is called a library of compound. The goldfish you want is the lead compounds in drug discovery. You must catch it using a tool such as a fishing rod. The operation of fishing is called screening. Furthermore, suitable tools vary depending on the type of fish. Next, I will talk about the history of lead compound searching. In this table, the upper part shows the basis of drug in adverse lead compounds, and in the lower part, it is demonst demonstrated changing of how to search the lead compounds. First, the oldest was the plant itself. People eat a particular plant when they are suffering from some kind of a disease, and found accidentally that it hears sick. During the Industrial Revolution, the method of extracting only the active ingredient from the plants has been developed. At that time, screening, which is a method to evaluate the compound using a variety of experimental systems and select an active one from a number of compounds, to be more precise, the libraries, has been developed. A method in screening is for instance to, to see the activity in test tubes or to see the physiological activity using animal. In addition, in the first half of the 1930s, researchers paid attention to antibacterial substances which microbes generate, represented by penicillin. Here is an example of the screening. I will introduce the process from discovery of the microbes to identification of the lead compounds, which is roughly divided into three steps. Grow the bacteria, 
examine the effect and take out the useful substance. In soil, there are various types of bacteria. First, it is necessary to grow the bacteria of interest separately one by one from mass from of the bacteria. After a few days, some colonies which consist of clones of one microbe appear on agar medium. Separating each colony, the increased microbes sometimes generate chemicals that could be the base of drug and these are chemicals mixed in media. Next, bacteria such as E. coli are used to see whether there is a useful substance. First of all, it soaked the media raised microbe in small paper. This paper put on the agar medium, capturing E. coli. If there is a chemical substance which has a function to kill E. coli, it should be seen that the growth of E. coli is suppressed only around the paper. They perform such tests for a variety of organisms or separates, referring to a chemical property in order to find the candidate of microbe which generates a useful substance. Finally, the useful substance of interest in other words, lead compounds is taken out. Furthermore, the chemotherapeutic agent, which is synthesized artificially and chemically, has been developed since sulfur drug, which is the pioneer of chemotherapeutic agent, was produced. From this era, with that wisdom of plant, new drugs got to be developed actively, and combinatorial chemistry that the robot synthesizes a large number of compounds and moreover, high throughput screening which allows compounds to be screened at high speed has revolutionized the drug discovery. High throughput screening is rapidly improved and from 100,000 to 1 million compounds are examined a month. Because it is important to keep the number of compounds and its diversity, when the speed of screening gets past. Any drug companies today possess their own compounds libraries. Therefore, they could test hundreds of thousands of compounds at any time. In this way, the process of searching candidates for the drug has been automated. However, there are researchers who have the magnificent fit with their steady effort by their own hands. In this October piece, Nobel Prize Committee announced that Omar Satoshi and William Campbell will be awarded 2015 Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine. They discovered a new lead compound called Avermectin against river blindness, which is a parasitic infection that has been prevalent in Africa and has improved the lives of many people. Avermectin is a substance generated by actinomyces in the soil of the East Peninsula in Japan. The search for Avermectin was continued with the study efforts. Omra used the method mentioned above and continued to search for lead compounds. Microbes, which he examined, amount to 3,000 species per year. On the other hand, because drug companies have to obtain profit, they tend not to start the drug development from which they couldn't benefit. The rate of that the lead compound gets drug are remarkably low. It takes 9 to 17 years that the new drug comes into the market after they make sure its safety and efficiency in humans through a variety of tests. Meanwhile, the development cost reaches 20 to 30 billion yen. In this way, it costs much money and takes much time to develop drugs. A drug of a disease which small number of, of people have or whose patients are too poor to buy it is hard to be purchased. Generally, main cause of death is infectious diseases in developing countries. Why are cancer and heart disease due to lifestyle-related diseases in developed countries? This is the top 10 best-selling drugs in 2014 in the world. 
while the drugs for lifestyle related diseases and cancer have accounted for the majority, the sales of drug for infection is weaker. In some, drug companies tend not to develop drugs for disease spreading in developing countries. In conclusion, today in drug discovery, particularly the process of search for lead compounds have been augmented and gotten more efficient. However, drug companies have been prone to develop profitable drugs due to the social mechanism. We should have respect Omra for his steady effort and spirit contributing to people in developing country and pay attention to unsolved diseases. These are references. Thank you for listening.